The input for this video is going to be the output from video 40. So it will not include any of the changes from videos 41 and 42. I've made a copy of ODB 40 and I'm calling this one ODB 43 Edit Constraint. Sometimes we need to change a field on a table and a lot of that can be done with our LibreOffice GUI screens. But in an earlier video, we put a constraint on the gender to be male or female. And that is something that is not available in the LibreOffice GUI screens, at least not at the time of this recording. In this video, we're going to talk about how to look at those values and then how to update them. So I'm going into Queries and Create a Query in SQL View. I'm going to type in the query, select asterisk from informational underscore schema dot system underscore tables where table underscore scheme equals public. When I run this, it shows us the tables that we created. I'm going to save this query as ODB 43 system underscore tables. To see information about the fields we created, we're going to need to change this tables to columns. When I run this, it shows us the table names and the columns that we created. I'll save this query as ODB43B system columns. And looking at the output, we've got the column name, the type, we've got the column size, and if we scroll over here to the right, we can even see if the value can be null or not. These two queries seem to be the most common queries you'll find on the internet when searching for information about a LibreOffice table but we want to find information about the constraints and that's not on this table. So I'm going to change this column back to tables and I'm going to take off this where and rerun the query. Down in this table name if I stretch out this column a little bit, if we make this window a little bigger, we see system columns. That gave us information about the columns. And if we look up a little further, we see system check constraints. Let's change this system tables to system check constraints. And I'm going to run this. And here's our information about our check constraints. We've got our start and end date. The end date must be greater than the start date. And then the check gender on the employees table, the gender field must be in male or female. I'm going to move this a little to the right and go into our tools. Opening up the tools SQL command window, we're going to need to update the table so we're going to need this window. And I've got a query right here to do that. When I said we were going to alter the constraint, that wasn't exactly correct. I'm going to select this and paste it, control V. So we see we're going to alter the table, table employees, and we're going to drop constraint check gender. So we're going to delete the constraint and then we're going to add it back in. Let's execute this. We see that this command successfully executed. Going back into our check constraints query, if I refresh this, we see that one of our constraints disappeared and that would be our check gender. We want to add back in the constraint or in this case add a new one and I'm calling this one check gender new just to highlight that it is a new constraint and we're not just editing the old one. 
we're going to change it to value of male, female, or other. I'm going to copy this. Go back into our execute command. Control V to paste. And here we're going to alter the table, table employees, add constraint, check gender dash new. This will be a check constraint. Gender is the field, must be in male, female, or other. And this is almost exactly how we added in the constraint when we created the table. Let's execute this. It executed successfully. Going back to our check constraints query, I'm going to refresh this. And we see our new constraint is out there for table employees. Field gender must be in male, female, or other. I'll save this as ODB43C. ODB 43 system check constraints. Closing our windows and saving our database.